What's up everyone and welcome to another episode of Let's Build a Real Zoo. Before we get started, if there's a game you'd like me to play, go ahead and drop in the comments below and I'd love to try it out. So we are working on part two of the African Savanna. So let's just go ahead and get started. Today's episode, we are going to be working on mostly the giraffe's enclosure and working on this, this little feeding it's a giraffe feeding area like people when you go to the zoo you can feed giraffes you know I don't really know what else to call it it's a little part where you can kind of go into the enclosure get up nice and close with the giraffes and yeah so we're kind of working on that I did put a information building instead of like a restaurant or a food building I didn't want people to crowd up there so I just put the information building and it doesn't seem like there's actually many people that are heading that way but once we start building on more towards the back of the zoo then I think more people will start heading and using this feeding area so here I'm just trying to figure out the paths I don't know the paths are kind of difficult I don't know if it's just me or I don't know I feel like you need to get things like specific or else the path like doesn't want to lay right or I don't know I mean maybe I just don't really know exactly how to work with it and maybe as I go I'll learn and be able to better work with the paths I don't know we'll see but yeah so right now we're just working on the the little fencing around here and the fence is kind of wonky I don't know I wish they had more curved fences like in the direct like the decoration area and even the fences for just the like the habitat fences it didn't seem like a lot of those could curve either so I wish they had a little more curvature to them I mean I could have built a fence but they don't also don't really I don't think maybe if I take a look around and see but I didn't really find like any mesh or like a fence that you could see through because I could have built like a wooden post all the way around but I wanted you to be able to look into the enclosure and I don't think if I would have built one it would have looked right I don't know but I mean I think this turned out okay the way it this little fencing is I mean it's not straight well, I mean, it's supposed to be curved, but, you know, it's got a little bit of pieces here and there. So that's why I kind of tried to add these poles to kind of distract from the imperfections, I guess you could say, of the, the fence in here. I think it adds a nice little touch, you know. I, know. I like to say it's all in the details, you know, attention to details. All, every little piece you add makes, you know, a whole lot difference a whole lot difference I don't know uh, I did notice when I was recording the last video I say you know a lot that's like my saying you know so I'm trying to watch it and not say it as much it's just I think it's just out of habit so when I'm just recording things I just talk and I just say what's on my mind so that's kind of what's going on here but yeah so I put these little these little bar things around there just so it looks like the those little wooden posts aren't kind of floating and that they're kind of built into the lifted path there. So that's that was at least my thought when I put those there. Then I'm just putting this little fence around here. Just trying to make things look similar to the photos. And this was just, I don't know, I feel like the, the fencing around there was just rather difficult for me. And yeah, so I noticed there were like rocks kind of everywhere around the the habitat I might have gone a little overboard with the with the stone hedges and whatnot around here but I mean nah. in the long run I think it looks okay it's yeah it's all right just I don't know I got a little stone crazy but it doesn't look bad so we'll, we'll accept it we'll say it's all right I don't really know what I was thinking here. I just put those stone walls there. I don't know. I mean, they look all right. 
but and then I was trying to give it a little texture by pushing some rocks through it and then I uh, that was about it that was the extent of that I feel like if I worked with it a little more then it might have turned out like something I don't know I think I'm going to eventually put a the like the staff area I think that's what I'm gonna put behind that little greenhouse there I know it's not a greenhouse but the green building where the the animals rest in I think I might end up putting another staff building back there because I in the next video I'm working on a 40 theater and I think that turned out very nice but there was a little bit of room where I could slide some some staff areas back there so I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing and yeah so building this little hut thing there's a picture that I was yeah I have a reference photo that I was looking at and I think it resembles it pretty nicely but I have a problem of building things not all in one like little unit I don't know I forget what the word is you know like when you're building it all in one little thing they like lock on a grid but like I don't like building on that grid so like I'll build things in like separate grids and then sometimes that can mess you up if you know things don't line up properly but I feel like you can get a lot more like you can get things looking the way you want when you're not using them on one grid so that's why I'm like eh, you know because I can't they don't have like half walls and stuff and you just gotta finesse things around but I mean if it works for you it works for you you know and I mean it's working for me for now I don't know I'm sure someday it's probably gonna kick me in the butt when I don't line everything up but I'm gonna keep doing it for now because I mean look this I think this little hut thing turned out pretty cute a little nice don't worry I end up putting yep here we go rocks so it's not floating just floating around there but yeah so I think it turned out pretty cute there and yeah so I did this did take me like two days to record this just because after I built that little platform area I just didn't know what to do I just kind of lost motivation like I was talking in the last video if you're just lost motivation and you don't really know what to do don't just slap something together you know leave it come back and then you'll be surprised that just time away it just you can get inspired by something and then coming back and then you can make something that you actually really like and are really proud of so here I'm just kind of building like a brick fence, I guess, but not like the, the stone or brick fences. I wanted something with texture and like dimension, you know? So oh, there I go with the, you know, but yeah, so that's what I was doing here. I would just wanted to give it a little character and in the pictures, there's definitely a stone fence type of thing. I don't know if it's dividing all of the habitats. I couldn't. I couldn't tell but I just kind of added it where I thought it looked nice so you know some parts I'm just adding it where I think it looks nice so that's what I'm doing here you know it's it's all right it's it gives it maybe like the vibe that it's not like a fence and that it might be an actual like outdoor habitat type of thing I mean it's outdoors but I think it, it makes it look nicer when you can't see the fence and it's more decorated. So if that makes any sense. Yeah, so that's what I did there. And then I added it all the way down into the ostrich and the springbok habitat as well. And yeah, I think it spruced it up a little bit. Gave it a little something else to look at. Not bad. Not, not bad, not too shabby. And... Yeah, so we're just tidying it up, fixing it up around here and there. So, yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much it. And then we go through and add some foliage and trees, make it look not so bare. Even though in the wild, I guess, if they're actually in the savanna, I believe there's only like a few trees around, you know? So, when I want to get these habitats looking 
full, I try and put all these plants around, but then in the wild, I guess like when it comes to the savanna, there aren't really much or many trees in the savanna. I don't believe. But I don't know, maybe I should Google that, look that up. But that's what I was doing here. I was just kind of going off the, the reference photos and trying to spruce it up a little bit here and there. But I just, I don't know, I love just trees and plants everywhere. If something looks bare, throw a tree. You don't know what to put there, throw a bush. It just makes it look so much nicer. And if it was like the real world, then it'd be like saving saving a tree by planting a tree. So that's what we're, we're doing, at least my mindset. And I don't know if this is a glitch or, or what, but whenever I went to feed my giraffes, I wanted the, the zookeeper to fill the feeders, like the actual feeders, not the enrichment items, so that I could take some screenshots over by the, the little platform. But the zookeepers only filled up the, the enrichment items and they never like filled up the feeders. So I, I don't know why. So I removed the feeders and they eventually filled the, or I, mo I removed the enrichment items and they eventually filled the, the feeders. But I don't know if that's like, you know, always going to be a thing or if that's like a glitch. I don't know. Cause it was, it was like, what? Why aren't you actually feeding them? Like you're just giving them treats? I don't know. So I put the feeder or the enrichment items back. So I guess maybe I'll try and keep an eye on it and see if they do fill up the actual feeders and not just the enrichment items. I don't know. I just thought it was weird that that was all they did. I don't know. I thought you'd like fill up everything, but yeah, so here I just, you know, decorated this little viewing platform area and I forgot, I don't know why, but I forgot there were two other circles, one in front of the zebras and one in front of the ostriches and the spring box. And I forgot to make that up, make it like fancy. I don't, I don't know why, I just forgot. So I might just go in there another time just it's just a few trees or plants, something. So nothing fancy. I don't even know if I'll include it in a screenshot later on or not. But yeah, I don't know why I forgot, but I did. Um, yeah, I liked where these, once I started adding the, the education boards and the education signs and whatnot, I think this little area started to become a little more full. Obviously, I didn't want to put way too much stuff on here because I wanted people to still be able to go up here and have room no matter where the giraffes are. They can still see them from basically like this 360, 180, I guess. Um, a little more than 180, a little less than 360. And I just wanted them to be able to view the giraffes without clutter in their way. So that's why I didn't want this to be a little food stand because I felt like if that was a food stand, then there would just be a whole line of people and it would get a little congested. So I thought the information building was, would probably be enough, even though I know sometimes the information building can get a little congested as well. But we'll just keep an eye on it and see how it goes. So it was very difficult for me to put these, this fencing along going up the ramp here. It just like wouldn't work for me. So then I put these little posts in the corners and I think that that made it look all right. It fixed it up a little bit. And I didn't do the other ramp because I'm waiting to see where I put the, the path leading out. I don't know if I'm gonna keep it where it is or if I'm gonna move it a little bit. So once I figure that out, then I'll put the fence up. But other than that, here are the screenshots. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you'd like, subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on the next episode. So next episode, we are working on a 40 theater and I think it turned out awesome. So I'm excited for you to see that. Other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. All right, bye.